now, ladies and gentlemen, here he is, your friend and his, Dom Slick. Yeah, baby! <laughs> I am the smartest man alive! Hey, the phone is ringing. I think it's Lauren Ashley Carter. Hold on. Radio Rock 92.6 of Blitz, this is Tom Slick. Hello. Hello, darling. Hello, darling. Who is this? This is this is Lauren Ashley Carter. I'm calling to to uh, to chat with you a little bit, you know. It's a beautiful day in New York City. Thought I'd give uh, you a call. Well, thanks. Just out of the blue, you just randomly decided to give us a call? Yeah. You know, I don't know, I've been seeing you guys posting, listening to your tunes, and I have a movie coming out tomorrow, so, you know, I thought maybe you guys might want to see it, tell people about it. Oh, man. No, really? Um, what kind of movie you got coming out tomorrow? Well, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a family feature, it's a long <laughs> animation, it's a cute little rabbit, um, you know. Uh, no, uh, it's black and white, terrifying horror movie where people get stabbed. Oh, I love it. I have been seeing the uh, all the uh, ad campaigns and stuff like that. It's called mm-hmm. Darling, correct? Yes, that's right, by uh, Mickey Keating, who also did Pod. That's right, yeah. Um, Want to give us a kind of a, a uh, no-spoiler rundown? Sure. Uh, so Darling is about a young girl who is a, a house sitter, I guess we'll call her, and uh, it starts off with her um, taking a job from the lovely Sean Young mm-hmm. to watch this beautiful brownstone in New York City. It's a beast of a house. And uh, we watch this girl slowly working her way through the house. And as the days go on, something in the house seems to be uh, sending her messages. Whether or not these are in her head or actual messages, you, you kind of have to figure out for yourself. But she increasingly becomes more and more disturbed, especially when she meets a, a strange man outside on one of her days out in New York City. Well, that's a normal day in New York City, though, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I suppose so. I suppose. <laughs> you are obviously a huge fan of horror, and mm. uh, and and obviously Mickey Keating as well. Um, mm. Was the uh, was the reason to go black and white a nod to uh, the uh, old horror genre? Yeah, it, it was uh, it was a nod to that. Uh, we also really both of us wanted to do a black and white film, and because we do horror movies, it just happened to coincide. But uh, but yeah, we were definitely influenced by, uh, uh, especially Mickey was by you know the early Polanski films. Um, and yeah, we uh, especially with the house. When we saw the house, it was originally going to be an apartment. But um, when the house came to us uh, through a friend of mine, and you actually went in there, it there was no question about it that it, mm. was, it had to be in black and white. Um, it just really, really worked that way. And we had a couple people that there were some really gorgeous rooms. Actually, there was this beautiful yellow room. Um, you'll notice when you see the butterflies, and that's all I'll say. Okay. But you'll see some butterflies. And when you see the butterfly room, that room is just gold and yellow, all kinds of different beautiful marigold colors. And uh, a couple people said, oh, man, this room is just so stunning. You know, are you sure? Are you sure you want to do black and white? But we absolutely said, yes, we're unmoving. There's, you cannot change our minds. Oh, so yeah. Only to be in black and white. And they said, oh, well, maybe, you know, you could shoot it for both. And we just, no. No. <laughs> what it's going to be. <laughs> I love black and white film. Uh, there are just some movies you don't dare ever shoot them in color, you know, like Psycho mm-hmm. or, you know, Young Frankenstein, that kind of thing. You know, recently, when I, I think uh, A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night did such a beautiful job with it as well. It was uh, gorgeous. Oh, uh, when I saw the trailer, uh, it immediately made me think of those great William Castle films, you know. Uh, oh, Straight Jacket, and uh, uh, there's another one with Betty Davis that she did. Yes, yes. I just watched Straight Jacket again yeah. recently. Is oh that the God. one? Is that, is that it? Straight Jacket? That's, uh, that's with Joan Crawford. Joan Crawford, of course. Of yeah, course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then Betty Davis, of course, yeah. Um, well, she's got a ton, but... Um, yeah. Whatever happened to Baby Jane and the nanny? Uh, yes, exactly. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Because there's one she wears an eye patch in. Uh, oh, that's in black and white. Yeah, I think so. You know, unless I'm unless I'm confusing it with Joan Crawford, I'm just thinking she's got an no, eye patch. No, that one's not in black and white though. No, I know which one you're talking about. Okay. No. 
but I but yes, most of her films were. So I <laughs> I, I have a black and white filter over Betty yeah. Davis's face in uh, my mind as well. That's so great. <laughs> oh my gosh! So uh, the film's releasing tomorrow. Yes. It, it is. Uh, you can check out www.darlingmovie.com, and we have a full list of all of the theaters uh, where it's playing. And there's a, a really nice list, actually. I've got you know a ton of friends and family in Ohio. It's playing in Columbus, which is a great halfway point for everybody. Um, California, Canada, Chicago, there's a ton of places. Uh, and then if it turns out that you can't get there or it's not in your city, it will be on demand on the 8th. Like iTunes and yes, okay, yeah, they're perfect. right now on iTunes. I know a couple of people said that they've pre-ordered, um, but yeah, if you go on iTunes, you can also find it. That's gonna uh, be amazing. Still, you know, be releasing it, yeah. Uh, so, how was it to work with Sean Young again? Oh, it was great. I mean, she really she we got her in and out in a day. It was one of those. Uh, she had been filming out in Los Angeles, and her days in Los Angeles kept getting longer and kept getting pushed out. So mm-hmm. it was one of those, you know. When she arrived, we're going to have to jump on this right away. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so she flew in, and she was, you know, lovely. Mm-hmm. Just went in and, you know, like a like a little little tornado. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, yeah, I think it was I think it was nice for she got to be dressed up and, you know, full makeup and hair, which she always loves. Mm. Oh, now let me ask this question, uh, if this is not uh, a spoiler. Is it current day? Uh, it's Yeah, it, it is set in, cur- set in current day. It's not um, – the time is very uh, obtuse, I want to say. Okay. Uh, because the style of it – every time that Mickey does a film, he really likes to do old school with style, hair, mm-hmm. music, uh, mood, lighting, all of that. Yeah. But we – we just decided, you know, since we did have so many city shots and things like that, there's really no set time or day, but we didn't, you know, stop cars from coming down the street and we right. didn't not shoot, you know, shoot uh, modern buildings and things like this. So, yeah, it's set in modern day um, just with some, some quirky people. <laughs> now, you, you had said, um, and I've, I've just recently heard this term, like in the last week. So you have to bear in mind, I'm from California. Um, what is a brownstone? Oh, okay. So a brownstone is a style of building uh, that's specific, very specific to New York City. And they're all over. You can find them in Brooklyn and Manhattan and the Bronx and everything. Um, but it's... Uh, yeah, so I, there are these very big, overwhelming buildings. They're all made with this brown stone, which is a, um, it's a kind of, um, I think it's a kind of sandstone, actually. Okay. So, yeah, it's very heavy, but it's mostly townhouses and things like this. Now, what happened was that they ended up getting turned into apartments, obviously. Oh, so okay. now when you go in, there are many of the brownstones are apartments, but there are plenty of homes as well. This specific one was really interesting. Uh, so my this woman I had walked dogs for and became friends with her, uh, she had had an apartment on the Upper West Side and sold that and then got this house that she wanted to renovate. And it's four floors. <laughs> and it has, um, let me think, one, two, three, four, five, six bedrooms mm. and two staircases, two kitchens, oh one in the downstairs gosh. and one in the upstairs. And uh, a thousand bathrooms uh, and a balcony. Uh, so it's really the interesting thing about the film is trying. I always try to ask people how many rooms do you think that there were in the house because oh, okay. we do go through all of them uh, except for one room that we don't go into, but we do use the door and the geography. So I always try to ask people what, how many rooms do you think are in the are in this actual house, and the. Um, the people that owned it before, uh, at one point, so instead of turning it into apartments, they actually turned it into a boarding house mm. for young people. And so there was uh, a woman that ran it and a man, and they may or may not have been married. And so they had um, a bedroom, but that uh, they had uh, two bedrooms, one bathroom, so they'd share a bathroom, but then they had separate bedrooms at that time. And so then the girls would be on one floor and the boys would be on another floor. Mm-hmm. And they got another kitchen. Um, and the, the reason that they were able to get another kitchen, because you're not allowed to have two kitchens in a home 
in New York, um, and they really? didn't want to register as a boarding house because they were probably trying to get out of some taxes. <laughs> so what the like man did, in, like you do, <laughs> so what the man did was say that he was an Orthodox Jew and that they had to have two kitchens to keep kosher, oh, and yeah. they were allowed to do so, but oh. he was not Jewish at all. <laughs> So it ended up being really lucky for us that we had two kitchens because when you're filming in a house on four floors and we had to keep, you know, the acting is happening on one floor, production, you know, office is on another floor, right. and then crafty and food is on another floor, yeah. our, all of our legs were burning and shaking oh by the gosh, end of the imagine. first day. Yeah. yeah. So you look up pictures of Brownstone, there's, yeah, all kinds of different ones, different shapes, sizes, and... Um, they're really, really lovely, and uh, wow. and they they've stayed well. All of them, if you go into any of them, they're they just they keep well. They hold up nicely. They're made out of you know good stuff. Uh, kind of reminds me of like the Dakota, you know, so um, something along. Oh yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Okay, that that I, perfect. Now I can't wait to see it so I can count the rooms. And then I can get yeah, back to you yeah, and yeah. tell you exactly. It's, it's really, yeah, I get confused when I'm watching it, too. I've, I've watched it with my friends who were there filming it. And we're like, that was on that floor. And no, it wasn't, remember, because we relit it and we moved the thing. And yeah. Now, have you been able to see a screening? Yeah, we actually, we had a screening at Lincoln Center last Halloween, uh, which was so cool to see your movie at Lincoln Center. And it was absolutely packed. Mm. Uh, people came, it was uh, Larry Fessenden was showing his film, uh, when to go, and uh, it was the last winter, I think, and then they changed the name uh, to When to Go, and uh, then people stayed after to watch Darling, and then we had a Q and A, and nobody walked out. Oh, I was, gosh. it was, which I almost was, you know, a little insulted by because you, you always, if somebody doesn't walk out of your movie, you know, you didn't, you didn't, you did, you did something people. wrong, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> but, but no, it was fantastic. Everybody stayed, and they stayed for the Q&A, and uh, it had a really great reception. So that was really, really nice. And oh, I, I'm going to be um, attending some more screenings here, too. So. Oh, that is amazing. Now, you're a producer on this, aren't you? Yes, yes, I was. Uh, I've started getting into producing uh, with my company, Warwick Street Productions, and then um, Mickey and I developed this a lot together, and I also uh, got the... Got the house for us for free. Thank you, Sarah Henderson, oh, for not yeah. charging us at all for that, because otherwise this movie would not have happened. Oh, boy, do I know how that goes. When you can get a, <laughs> when you can get a location for free, that is a, that is a miracle sent from heaven. So. Oh, oh, absolutely. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. um, all right, uh, I got to ask you about introducing Parker Dowd while I got you on the phone. Oh. So that's Absolutely. your directorial debut? Yes, yeah, that was my first short film, uh, and it's uh, written by and starring Rebecca Blaine Carton, uh, who I was introduced to through Michael Mastro, who's a fantastic uh, actor. You can see him as a judge on Law & Order SVU quite frequently. Also on Nurse Jackie is the uh, AA leader, the Alcoholics Anonymous leader. <laughs> and uh, I did uh, some theater with him and cast him in my first short as a producer, Bereavement, and so he introduced me to this girl and said, you know, she's never made a film before, and I thought maybe you could just sit down and talk with her. So I met her, and then after we sat down and talked, I left being the producer, and then about a week later, I was the director. <laughs> wow. Uh, I, I seem to recall that you told me three days or eight days of shooting. Oh, no. So it was that we had three days in eight locations. That's what it was. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> and, and in our heads, it was so funny. We kept saying, no, it was four. Didn't we have four? And it's, oh, no, we were just freaking out on one day. And then we started shooting. Three days, uh, Louis Black makes a wonderful cameo in it. And it's about uh, an actress who loses a job to her dog, <laughs> a commercial. And he, and he ends up becoming a huge celebrity, and she loses it. I loved it when you sent it to me, uh, and I got to preview it. I just loved it. And oh, I'm so glad. I did. And, you know, and Lewis Black is so funny. I think I had that agent once before in my life. So <laughs> he's so good in it. <laughs> I'm also moving on to, I'm going to be directing my first feature right now called Love Shy with uh, some some wonderful uh, people out in Los Angeles, and mm-hmm. we're in pre-production for that right now, and that's going to be all shot in Ohio. Oh, wow. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah. So I'm excited about that, going back to my roots. 
Will it be horror? No, this is actually going to be a, a drama about a group of uh, socially awkward uh, men, but especially revolving around one who just wants to find uh, the picture-perfect love, and he is so frozen in his expectations and fears that he can't even talk to a woman. <laughs> so, yeah, I, uh, I, I think it's going to be quite a wonderful time. A lot of reality and fantasy getting mixed up together. Oh, that sounds awesome. Oh, my gosh. Well, I am jazzed, Lauren, to see uh, Darling because I am such a huge horror fan. And then, of course, naturally, um, you are my favorite indie actress. Thank so. you. Yeah, and uh, it's true, I say. Uh, and you've been so sweet to us. You always um, you always make time for us, and you, you like our photos on Instagram and stuff like that. So uh, it's just so oh, awesome. Yeah. To- well, it's so nice when you talk to people who are interested in your work and knowledgeable about movies and just like movies, too. You know, there's some people that can go on listing for hours and hours and talking about directors and cinematographers and things, which is very important and really awesome. But sometimes it's nice to just be like, yeah, I like <laughs> movies, man. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Does your boyfriend ever get a little bit nervous about some of these slasher parts that you're playing? <laughs> Oh, no, not at all. <laughs> not at all. Uh, I just kind of have to, I've had to, like, um, <sighs> introduce him to these things. He was very scared of horror for a long time. And, and there's a lot of people that say that to me. They say, wow, I really want to watch your movies because I love you. And I like, you know, they maybe they like Tea Time or maybe they like my theater work or, or the mentors. But they, they say, oh, God, when are you going to do something I can watch? And I say, you can really watch <laughs> these things. Jug Face is not. You're not going to have nightmares. Um, so I always, I, I kind of have a little, uh, starter kit that I start people on with scary movies. And I, I listen to, you know, what kind of action movies do you like? Do you like any fighting movies? Do you like comedies? Cause then I can, you know, say, oh, we'll watch Serial Mom or something, mm-hmm. you know? Um, so I always try and find out what people like. And there's always, I don't care who you are. I can find a horror movie for you. Yes. And, and I can get you into it. And there's always going to be things that people don't like. There's things I don't like, and that's fine. But I, I always say there's a horror movie for everybody. You just have to find out what it is. Amen for that. So can I get a uh, Kathleen Turner from you this morning? Oh, sure, sure. I guess, I mean, uh, what, what would you like? Give me Kathleen Turner from Serial, uh, Mom. Okay, all right. Well, you know, my favorite is... Pussy Willow. <laughs> and then, of course... And then, of course, we have her. I like where this is going. Oh, I love it. I do. Uh, <laughs> last time, guys, when I talked to, to, to Lauren, we did an interview for the film Jug Face, and we were talking about all kinds of stuff, and we got to talking about whatever happened to Baby Jane and the scariest, most twisted fun thing I ever heard in my life was you starting to sing <laughs> the song from Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. I've written a letter to Daddy. That's it. <laughs> it was one of the worst things ever. I've seen so many horribly, you know, gory movies, but seeing that movie by yourself is mm. like your skin crawls. You need to take yeah. a shower afterwards. Yeah, you sure do. And yeah. you'll never think about you know, skipping on the beach, eating ice cream ever again. Like, never. I never want to do that again. Again, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, you must be such fun to live with, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's thank fantasy. you so much, sweetheart, for calling in. Uh-huh. It is always Thanks a pleasure. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much. And, I, uh, yeah, I hope uh, hope everybody gets to see Darling at some point or another and, and share it with uh, with those that you love most. Yes, indeed. So, well, you will be hearing from my wife and I the moment that uh, we sit down and get our popcorn and count the rooms. Great. We'll say hello to her. Give her my love. I will. Thank you guys for supporting. All righty. Well, you have a great rest of your day. Have an amazing uh, opening tomorrow, and uh, we'll be here cheering you on. Thank you. All right. See ya. Bye-bye. All right. Bye. All right, gang, that was Lauren Ashley Carter, who was so sweet, calling in today uh, for her scary movie coming out tomorrow called Darling. So go see it. Um, Go to the website 
And uh, this way you guys can be sure to um, uh, find it in your city. And uh, I think it's going to be um, – uh, there's there's a list. I'll get it. I'll post it. That way you can you guys can find it in whatever city that you happen to be in. And then like Lauren said, if you don't get a chance to um, – see uh see it in the theater then uh it's going to be on demand and uh and what better way because then you can buy it right and then you can watch it over and over again so so thank you once again uh you guys want to give her a follow she's on twitter at lac underscore voyager and uh say hello to her uh from radio rock 92.6 the blitz tom slick and um yeah, thank you once again, sweetheart. You are amazing. You're better off when your radio's on. Radio on. 92.6.